called Chroma. Uh, Chroma. I'm, I know there's something else here. Chroma of Bloom and something. Chroma Bloom in Blight. This is a totally free to play card game. I think it's a, I don't know if it's a PVE, PVP or a mix of both. But essentially their whole marketing is this game is 100% free to play to obtain all the cards. You do not need to, I don't th even think you need to grind it. I think it's all unlocked from the start. And if you do want to spend money, because how else are they going to stay afloat? They are cosmetics and a battle pass thing to get. So we're going to check the game out. And I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. Now, one bad thing already that I did see is I started the game right before the stream so I can set it up uh, in the, you know, on the stream. And there was a tutorial there. So I was like, okay, cool. So I quit it and then I opened it. And now the tutorial's gone. And I don't know if I can get back into it. So that could be a freaking problem. Uh, but I have played a ton of card games. So it might, you know, it, it might not be too hard to just jump into it, right? So let's go ahead and just play for about an hour, two, three, and see what's happening. So this game is free, like I said, I'm free to play on Steam. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna guess it's like some sort of magic Hearthstone hybrid. Um, so let's begin. Let's just go through all the things here. Is the cosmetics, cards or heroes? Miscellaneous card backs, default story, card backs, loading screens, emotes, <laughs> emotes. So you can. So I have. So these are mine. So these are already mine, right? Like I got emotes. I got emotes. Cool. And there's a battle pass. It seems. Buy the battle pass to be able to claim these rewards. So this is the free battle pass. You play level one and you get all different rewards. <laughs> what the hell? This is like beta art and stuff. You get like free coins. I don't know what these coins are for. Probably for just buying stuff or rolling. You get, it looks like you get emotes and yeah, different cards and stuff. That's cool. Here's the store itself. Featured item. Looks like they have the, uh, the good old Fortnite, you know, tr tried and true, tr tried and true, um, you know, battle screen where it's like oh limited time better watch out for FOMO better get it now so these are all just arts and stuff it seems and there's a coupon redemption as a deck builder which we're not gonna mess with yet here's lore so I guess you can click on things and see lore uh, Bane Grove whoa city story heroes and cards hmm, interesting and then there is the learn button I did click on this to see if the tutorial would pop back up unfortunately it's just um, little screenshots here so I'm gonna go ahead and just play a match, and we'll see what happens. I hopefully it just throws us into like um, a uh, you know a bot game, so we can see what's happening. Like I said, I've never played the game before, so this is all new, and we'll just go from there. All right, so backing out, starter one play, play the starter decks in order. So we're playing this one right here. Uh, okay, I don't know what this deck is. Let's just get started. Play. Bot casual rank tutorial. Oh, the tutorial's there. Okay, perfect. Okay, see, I went to I went to click learn, but the tutorial wasn't there. And now we're clicking learn here. Tutorial here. Okay, cool. Okay, now we're gonna learn to play for sure. All right, all right, great. All right, so I do play a good amount of card games, so I'm interested in seeing what this one brings to the table. It's uh, sending the deck. It's loading, loading the tutorial. Come on, man. Okay, Jari versus Astromagus. This is a bot. Best of one. Ooh. Okay, this is your first hand. So I'll make sure if I'm covering anything, I'll let you know and then moving around if we need to. This is your first hand of cards of the game. First hand of cards of the game. Uh, okay, so you can shuffle back or confirm it. You can mulligan, I guess. Oh, you can't. No, you shuffle everything back. You don't mulligan as many cards. You just throw everything back. So I don't know what's good or bad. So I'm just going to hold on to everything, I guess. You may decide to keep it or shuffle it and then get another set of four cards. Um, you know what? Let's just shuffle it. Whatever. It seems like the cost is... What is the cost here? It's probably this. Whatever this two, three. Like There might be different sort of energies. Just shuffle back. I press shuffle back. I guess they don't want me to. The, the tutorial must be a, just a set, you know? <laughs> like no matter what you get these ones that's fine okay so what exactly am i covering here nothing i'm covering like like two more of these balls below me and then this is the 30 here so that's it i'm not really covering anything what's up cloud today we're learning a new game this is a totally free to play the game on steam so i'm just giving it a try just to see what they got you know the play in front of you is called the story oh the play field is called a story okay as you go through the game you will place permanence 
in the story. Individual spaces are called pages. Okay, okay, got it. Pages in a story. Seven pages, seven slots. This is your deck. 35. So it looks like we have 40. Um, you draw one. Got it. These are ashes. Discarded or destroyed goes in here. And you can click to view all of them. This is the void right below me. So this is the banished cards. Your maximum size of 10. If you draw... Would you have 10? It gets voided instead. Ooh, damn, it gets voided. Unlike Hearthstone, where you have to delete down, you have to you know, discard down to 10, it just gets destroyed right away. Whoa, okay. The goal is to get the opponent's health to zero. This is your health. This is your mana. You will get an additional turn, additional orb every turn. Mana to play cards, activate abilities. I hope this game has instances. That'd be so sick. You have a companion in your hand called the Egotist. Where? That's my ultimate, secondary, primary. Oh, it's sweet. Where's the egotist? I don't know where the egotist is. I don't know. You can right-click the card in your hand and see a bigger version of him. Got you. We play egotist. Oh, in my hand. Dragging it and placing it on the page. Let's look at the egotist, though. So this is 1A. 1 might be the energy. Deadly. Destroy any companion. This deals damage to. So companion is a minion. Dusk. Activates when this story goes to the ashes. Activate this when the story goes from the story to the ashes. Wait. Oh, Dusk. Dusk is Death Cry then. Okay, got you. Death Cry. Deadly. So this is a uh, poisonous deadly. Deals one damage to both heroes. Costs one mana. So I can put it anywhere I want, but they want us to put it here. They can't attack on the turn they're playing. Pretty basic. You're out of mana. You can't attack in your turn. Okay, got you. Okay, so far so, you know, familiar. You know, we'll go just based off Hearthstone, this is all pretty much. Uh, every hero has three unique abilities. Now, that sounds cool. Uh, primary and secondary are always available. Use your primary to deal damage to the opponent. So this is cost the uh, 2N. What's 2N? 2N, one cooldown. So one, probably one turn cooldown, two energy. Deal three damage. Pretty much, pretty much correct. Uh, since the Egotist has now been in the story for a turn, they can attack. Stances will be explained soon. Attack. Okay, take this. Oh, you got the drag to their face? Too bad their face isn't right here, huh? You got to drag over here. Take this! Pew! Okay, it's instant. Sweet. Uh, and I'm going to end my turn. Okay, I'm just going to go for what they, you know. Everything they show. Okay, he summoned a minion. And he can't attack this turn, so he's probably going to end. I draw, I get three mana. A companions can attack other companions. When they do, they take damage equal to the opponent's attack. Attack with the egotist to destroy, but it also kill itself. So this guy is a headsman. One N. N is energy then. What's one V? I don't know what one V means. I have well, I have one A. What's A mean? I thought N was energy. Cause this is two N. This is one A. And this is two one N. So I don't, it's like some weird ass words, uh, letters. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so it looks like we're going to destroy on the left side. Okay. So we got, so we each take one thing to the death cry or dusk in this game. And then they die no matter what on the left side. There was a number called the act counter act counter. This right here. It's 24. It decreases after a card is played. When it reaches zero, uh, the game will move on to the next act at the end of the turn act. Oh, okay. The games of Chroma go through three different acts. You can see which act is by looking at the act indicator in the center. So this is one. Act has no game playing changes. Act two gives both heroes two and additional mana. Three unlocks ultimates. Where's my ultimate? Huh. What the hell? One mana, zero cooldown. I mean, it's every, you can use it every turn. Five damage to any target. That sounds OP. Oh my god. Act two or three change the game. Act two, three. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And play the gore. Uh, battle standard. Pay attention to the act counter. It will decrease by one. So this 24 should go down to 23. So what does this do? Oh. Oh. One is energy. Two. A. Oh, wait. No. Two. I thought the two A would probably put the act down by two. Hold on. Let's see. It did not. Okay. So I still don't know what the N and the two means. Uh, weird. 
Okay, so this is... I don't even know what the heck this thing is. An enchantment. They don't participate in combat. Okay, has an ability and dawn. Activates one time when it enters the story during my turn. So it's a battle cry. Okay, dawn and dusk. Got battle cry and leave me. Makes sense. At the start of your turn, use your hero ability. Uh, use your primary hero ability. So it activates every turn? Dawn. Uh, reduces ability cooldowns of adjacent allies. Permanence by one. Oh. Oh, okay. What's that three in the bottom then? Okay, got you. Enchantments have a span. Oh, a span. That's how many turns they are alive. This is your opponent's first barrier. Barrier? If they take enough damage to pass 30, they instead take damage up to the first barrier. Oh, uh, okay, okay. What's up, Uker? Have you tried it? When the first barrier of either hero breaks the game, you will move to Act 2, regardless of the Act counter. Ooh. Needs more time? Oh, man. All right, well, we'll see. At least it's all free, you know? The Groar Battle Standard will break your opponent's first barrier at the start of my turn. It will? Yeah, because this thing does two damage, deal three to the opponent's hero, and then it breaks the barrier down to 30. End of my turn. Add one whatever to their mana pool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, you summon a minion. Wow. Okay, now it's going to be my turn. So my act I'm going to it activate. It's supposed to do three damage, but the threshold is 30. So it did not go down to 29. Your opponent's first barrier has been broken. Do you have played a dangerous companion? I don't have any tools, so let's set up for later turns. Act. So this one goes to the next turn. So you want me to activate Black Dragon Saints. Uh, I still don't know what the one... Okay, one energy. What did one A do, though? Okay, summon this. Is that used up two energy? That used up two energy. So maybe these are just one neutral and one green. Oh, oh, it's kind of like magic then, right? So one neutral en energy? But then it's all the same energy. It's all green. <laughs> so that means this is six energy, right? And this is six energy. This is five energy, four energy, two energy. Is that correct? Okay, what do you do? Deal three damage to the character that destroyed him. Destroyed me. <laughs> okay. So, death cry. Okay. Uh, wait, companions in the story are always in a combat or a guard stance. Companions are in the combat by default, and they can attack and be attacked by, you know. Companions in the guards cannot be attacked or attacked. Protect them. Oh, really? You can switch between them by clicking the little sword. I'm going to defense mode. Wow, that's interesting. So, I cannot be attacked. Whoa, interesting. That's pretty neat. Okay, take this. So this activated on its own, but now I can activate this again. So this is a, oh, of course it's a hunter. Smork, smork hunter. The hell? Now in act, act two, everyone gets more mana because it's act two. There we go. Two neutral mana. So we get extra two little bits here, little bits. Uh, I'll probably move my camera in the very top left after the tutorial because I'm covering the, the two neutral mana, but it's okay. I got you. So you can't even activate these until like... What the hell? This one costs three neutral? Or maybe just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck? Your opponent just played a landmark. Landmarks cannot be attacked and don't have stances, but they can be attacked and take damage. What is this? 3v? V? All companions have taunts. If your deck has at least 12 SF, you start the game with the first temple in the story. SF? They're very sturdy. Instead of health, they have plating. You can only deal one damage at a time to plating. Oh my god! Plating? All companions have taunts. Adjacent enemies may only attack this. So that means if I had a person here, I can attack him. But if it's like here, I have to attack it? only deal one damage to deal 12 you need 12 different damage instances damn 12 damage instances my god landmarks usually affect both players equally oh i guess that's oh all companions oh okay i got gotcha. you uh change of the general play hmm, yes yes okay uh landmark your opponent's played gives everyone taunts there we go diagonals you got it 
Your opponent has a dangerous companion. Let's fix that. Is that the new pog champ? What the hell is that? Furry. In your hand is prey. Prey is a spell. Spells are one-time uses that don't enter the stall. We pray. Return a permanent opposing permit to their opponent's hand. A random enchantment in their hand enters the story. Destroy that enchantment. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? So this uh, opposing permanent. So this is a permanent, right? So we destroy permanent. No, no. We return the permanent and then we destroy an enchantment in their hand. That's pretty OP. Oh, wait. This is a permanent? I thought I thought this was a companions. I thought this is a companion. Now they're calling it a po opposing permanent. They're calling it a permanent now. What does that even mean? Send okay. Send that back to his hand. Uh, note that there isn't a dangerous companion in the story anymore. Switch the black dragon saint to combat. They can't attack yet because they need to spend a turn beforehand. Uh, that's tough. Uh, play the will hunt dawn use your primary ability so it costs two manas and I'm gonna activate deal three okay yes yes now what and I get these my primary ability again this is a, so smarky man oh this character feels gross well he used an ability what did he use his ability uh, deal one damage to a companion and reduce this by one until the end of your next turn. Interesting. I started return. The Grower Battle Standard was destroyed, but before being destroyed, it deal three damage. The second bear has been broken. This will unlock ultimates next turn. Play the Insurgent's Automaton. This companion has an activated ability. Okay. So it's going to use one neutral and one regular. Ability three. One cooldown. Three, three to any target. This game looks whack. Uh, Galbiz can be activated by clicking on the ability. Yes. There you go. Take this. Pew. Attack. Pew. Attack. Pew. Nice. Okay. Act three. Okay. Avoid a companion. Okay. So he just banished it. I don't know what happened there. That went so fast. And he did a bunch of crap. I don't know what the hell just happened here. Your opponent destroyed all the companions, avoiding one of them. If a companion with a dusk gets voided, the battle cry doesn't activate. I mean, sorry, the, the death cry does not activate. Got you. Because the game is the Act 3, I have access to my ultimates. They may only be used a single time. Oh. Deal 5 to any target. Okay, bitch. Be huge. Yay, I did that. Me, I did that. Okay, that's the tutorial. Okay, let's let's, let's play the game. So let's try one of the bot matches against. Uh, and they want me to use this deck. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six decks to use. I wonder how many cards are in the game total. New. T well, let's just play through all the regular decks first. Okay. But star deck bot match play. Sweet. I don't know. Game's okay so far. Ryla Redgale, the Ink Eater. Oh my god. There's a lot of cards. 22? It's 22 liters? That sounds neat. Let me move my camera up here now. Okay. Let's see. 2 drop, 3 drop, 2 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop. I'm going to keep it. I don't know if anything's good. We're just going to jump in. Okay. So, we begin. Act 1. Let's look at our abilities. So, two mana. Restore three health to anybody. Oh, um, restore three health. So it looks like uh, it's not like magic. It's like Hearthstone where it's permanent health damage. You may play two log in your deck. Two log. My ultimate. Four mana. Return up to five permanent to the controller's hand. Okay, what do you do? View a random card in my opponent's hand and increase the mana by one. Whoa, that sounds cool. Uh, you may hover this ability. Hover over this ability to see how many cards each type in your opponent's deck. Type in the opponent's deck. It's got a jank right now. Yeah, it's, it looks a little weird, but 
you know, we'll give it a nice hour-long try. We'll see what happens. Here's our ultimate. Look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it or put it back on top. Then play the top card for free. Gain plating equal to its mana cost. What? Gain plating? Damn. So it's a free spell or a really strong monster? A plated monster. Okay, so I have one mana. Uh, I guess we can I'll just go for this. Add one to your mana pool until the end of the turn. I don't know what the hell this is. But it's the only thing I can play. So I might as well put... Where, where is it? I did that. What's this? Oh, what, what even is this? They didn't explain what this thing is. Uh, Wait, that's until the end of the turn? Oops, I wasted it. I think that's an... Oh, I know what the hell that thing is. That's a... I wasted it, but it's a free coin. It's it's a it's a Hearthstone like mana coin. I wasted it. Oh wait, no no, I can use this. I can I can use a two drop. I didn't. It's not wasted yet. Okay, what's this? Humility. That's a. Eh, let's put a minion down on the field. Taunts. I have two plus attack during the opponent's turn. This guy seems cool. So I didn't waste it. <laughs> I used the coin. This was okay. Yeah, yeah yeah. Okay, I got you. Got you. Yes. Opponent's turn. Deal okay, what? Deal one damage. I can't read I can't even read it. I can't click on it. Um I'm waiting. What's going on? Hello? Deal one damage to each up to three different target what? Hold on. The enemy's doing something, it's taking a while. <sighs> waiting, waiting. Okay, what do they do? Deal one damage to each of up to three different targets. Did this guy take any hits? I no one took damage. What happened? What? Okay, I have two mana. I have humility. Dawn. Target companion is a one-one. After they are destroyed, destroy humility. So pretty much humility. It's it's a freaking it's a paladin card. It's the Paladin card, Humility. What the hell? That's funny. Oh, this one costs more. Oh, they use their ability. They increase the mana cost by one. Oh, you dick. I can't really do anything. I need three mana to activate anything, huh? Oh, I was like, why are there two different ones? So there's no point using this. This is an attack card. So attack. Take this. And this is a heal, so it doesn't do anything. So what a wasted turn. Okay, there's someone a 2-4 unit. I don't know. It has like two counters on it. Did they act? I don't even know. This guy's probably like continuing to... Like, I can't tell what he's using that ability. What is this thing? Uh, okay. Create one copy of Mark in the opposing page. Mark? Remove any Mark from its page to another. What is Mark? Marks are applied directly to pages. Only one mark. Create a copy. Okay, create a copy of target mark in an opposing page. Okay, I don't know how that works yet. Guess we'll see. Uh, so it's like two damage. I can activate it. <laughs> now the UI is a little whack. It's it's like hard to see. Like you can you can see the outline, right? Like, I could play one, two, three, four. In Hearthstone, it's really yellow, like the outline. It's like, it's tough to see at a quick glance, so you have to, like, really look at that. I really don't like that, the UI. Um, humility would be good against him. I can summon another minion, though. One, one, I can take that down. At the start of your turn, I doubled my attack. Wow, this guy seems really cool. Okay, what's the taunts? I go home and then return to your hand after a turn and gain. 2-2 two, two for the rest of the game. It sounds awesome. I want to put him here. I taunt this guy. This guy's taunted. Now I attack face. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Summoned a environmental card. He has to attack that. Okay. Get wrecked. Next turn. Humility again. What's this card? After an allied companion attacks, hope triggers their dawn. Oh, wow. Whoa. Do I have any dawns? Because that helps everybody. 
Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep this guy alive, so I'm going to heal him. And kill this guy. Fuck you. And attack face. I have two mana left. But this is whatever. I can't do anything else now. I might have to end my turn. But at least we got board control. And uh, damn, activates Dawn? Double Dawn activation? Are you kidding me? And then they activated more mana on my car. Okay, got you. Be easy. Okay, let's go. Okay, I have a lot of mana. What's this? Blue Crest Villager. Draw a card. This is really good. Because it... Oh my god, it's freaking over. This is going to activate twice. After this attacks, it draws two more cards. That's freaking OP. But, you know... If we draw too many, the game didn't tell me what happens if you run out of cards in your deck. I have three mana left. At the start of a turn, double. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna win. I don't know. I don't see them winning this. Pew. Okay, we're good. It's not bad, you know. Give a target companion plus six. He gave me plus six. Why did he give me plus six damage? Oh, it must be like some down downside in there. Hold on. Uh, warded. Give a companion plus six attack in warded. Cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. Why did he buff my card? Why did he buff my card? What does you do? Allied adjacent companions have warded. That's pretty cool. Uh, cannot be targeted by spells. We can still attack it. Uh, I move one target companion as a... This game's crazy dude well what's his max health four three so i can do this and he dies i die too though scholar's attendant draw dawn i copy a spell from ashes and put it in your hand uh here's what we're just gonna humility this guy target companion is a one one did i activate it Target companion is a 1-1. One, one. Humility. And then we kill him. And that's it. We heal it. And then that's it. And then attack. And then this doubles every turn, so next turn is 4 health. Now that we broke it down to 30, we can do 8 more damage. See, if I attacked in the other order, I think would have done like all only up to like, what, 28 health? Deal three damage any target. Okay, nice. This is I evolve and turn two and gain two. Hmm. I I don't know. I feel like this game is just a little too similar to Hearthstone, but I don't know what else they can do. Deal one damage up to three different targets. I don't know. Like obviously there's differences, but there's no reason I would play this over Hearthstone. The only reason is their whole marketing deal, which is everything's completely free to play. But is the game enjoyable? I don't know. Right now, it's just a little too... I don't know. Let's just finish this match first. Eager Apothecary. What's the most freaking... <laughs> so dumb. What's this? Will of the Woods. Uh, there's so many cards. What do you, what do you, what do you even do? He went, go oh, he, he's guarding for two turns. Look at that. But then he has to spend one turn in attack mode to attack. So it's kind of useless right now. Um, uh, what does this do? After a permanent adjacent to this is destroyed, the controller discards top two. I don't know. Okay. At 15, breaks at 15. We just break this now. Poof. And eh, eh, smork, and then I heal you, and then I throw down you. Add one to your mana pool. Add one to your mana pool. Yeah, those are cool cards. Invalid number of cards selected. Oh, sorry. Oh, I have to throw it out because I have too many cards. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't don't understand okay add an extra coin 
Uh, and this guy. Attack. I already did. Okay. Uh. <laughs> wait, I have 42 health? Do I overheal? I didn't know I have overheal. I would I wait, can I heal myself? I don't know what's happening, dude. Let me try healing myself. I have an ultimate. We try up to five permanents to the controller's hand. One, two, three, four, five. Confirm. What the fuck is this game, dude? <laughs> can I heal? You can heal? Oh my god. You may play too long in your deck. Who's too long? Ah. This. What the hell, man? Take this. Um. Um. Bommy? Who's Bommy? Okay, let's try another deck out, but. Uh. I don't know. Impossible to communicate with the coordinator. We start the game. Oh. Game crashed. Oh. That's not a problem. Let's try the other deck out. That's the, uh, we're, we're starting to see everything this game has so far. Interesting. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Hmm. There's that new Pathfinder game I want to try. It's like a beta or something. Impossible to communicate. Make sure you have a working connection. Did I crash in my band? Is this game just dead now? Is it down? What happened? Is, am I still live? <laughs> Let me restart Steam. Let me put the music on. Hey, blood. Doo -doo. Did I break the game? Did I destroy the AI too hard? Arena mod, the stay stoles, and now chroma. Tight. Oh, Steam is down. Is your Steam down? I can't connect to Steam. Steam is down. The hell? <laughs> can't connect. Well, hold on, it's updating. Oh, it updated. It updated. Steam updated. No, I'm I'm connected, but I'm offline. Why is this so slow? All right, where's the game? Uh, Chroma start. Okay, we're good. Hopefully. Yeah, all of my friends are offline. Yeah, it looks like everyone got disconnected except like they're coming back online slowly one by one. Interesting. All right. Uh, this is that deck we just saw. That's that other deck we just saw. Let's play this deck. Play a bot match. Okay, let's try this. It looks like there's no, like, difficulty for bots either. Minerva. Ooh. All right, let's go. Let's try this deck out. Two drop, two drop, eight drop, five drop. These guys are pretty good. I'll hold it. Bag of crowns, cause I go, I go second. He dropped the bunny down. Nice. Or oh, does he start with that bunny? Cause it didn't look like he put it down. What's going on? Did they just start with that bunny? Okay, let's look at this guy's ability. Discard a card, then draw a card. Interesting. Uh, deal one damage to any target for every six cards in my ashes. Wow, get stronger over time. Um, six men destroy all permanents. Whoa, board clear. Deal one damage to two targets. The first turn, each time you are attacked, deal damage to the attacker. Prevent all damage during your opponent's next turn. Okay, enchanted. Uh, so two two. After my span is reduced, restore one health to my allies. Reduce any span by one. This is just the healer. Got you. First turn, I can't do anything unless I play my coin. So I will play my coin. And I'm going to get this guy. Do I want to fight this guy? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, no. Because they heal. I'm just going to put this guy here. 
Okay, let's go. End coin. End turno. Okay, he did nothing. I guess she healed. She keeps getting mana. I don't know how she's healing. Restore one to my allied adjacent pages. So allied adjacent is these two. So how is she getting mana back? I don't know. Okay, I got two mana. Wait, why do I have a purple one and why do I have a red one? We get different color decks. So <laughs> it's like a mix of magic and hearthstone. Okay, that's what I'm like seeing fully here. Okay, let's see. Well, food. What kind of food? I'm hungry. What's enchanted do? Uh, an enchantment companion is both an enchantment and a companion. If the companion is destroyed, the enchantment remains. What is radiance? It's just us. Does enchantment go down every turn? Huh. I'm requesting the day, the day off to work. Hey, that's oh, that's a good decision. Better than the people who did it for cyberpunk. Oh, imagine, dude. And then they went to work the next day. They got made fun of. Hey, man, how's the cyberpunk, huh? Couldn't play. Couldn't play my cyberpunk. Uh, okay. I don't know what happened there. Why did that car get sacrificed? Restore any three and draw a card. She did damage to herself. Why did her minion die? Did she play anything? I think just because it ran out of enchantment then, right? Like that's why this is super strong because it has a three turn lifespan. Maybe. Okay, so I have two purples and one red. Draw a card when you attack. Um, okay. Uh, this game has some neat idea. Oh, look. Oh, every oh, the first time you are attacked, the attacker takes damage. Uh, gotcha. So next turn, this three should go down to two. Because it's too strong for just a one cost, right? Wow, that's a monster. Oh, he's attacking. Whoa, he has rush? Oh, no, he's adding a permanent to my... Oh, he copied my guy. Whoa! That's like the Hearthstone card where you copy the thing. To play Heavy Hand, Heavy Heart. To play Heavy Hand, Heavy Heart, you have to discard a card. Destroy target permanent. Oh. I play. I discard this. Destroy. Bye. It's messed up. And I attack and draw. Drawing last, Omega Lol. Oh, that's Dawn only. That's still good. Pouf. Bouf. Bouf. Barnosh? If I am discarded, I enter the story. Oh, man. I didn't even read it. There's too many to read. Damn, discard deck? Let's go. What's this deal? After you play a spell. Gratitude restores health equal to its mana cost to any target. Any target. The first time each turn, you restore total five. Draw a card. Very cool. Yu-Gi-Oh in Japan. Yu-Gi's voice actor. Uh, it's pretty nice, right? He's like, see, wait, wait, which, which one? Yu-Gi's or y Yami? I don't remember y Yu-Gi's in my head, but Yami's like, it's pretty cool. Uh, okay, that's a discard. Damn, so you can like draw a card. Choose a card to discard. Discard this Bartnosh. So it comes. Boof. I summon you for free. Well, how much does it cost? So this thing costs three. But it essentially costs two if you activate this. Wow. That's neat. Uh. Okay. Okay. Take. Wait, wait, wait. We want this one. This one. This one first because it's going to take the damage. And it's going to die next turn regardless. Take this. Hiya. Takes two. Yeah, take that, bitch. Ha, ha, ha. 
All right, act two, we both get um, neutral health. Okay, uh, something happened. All right. S stuff's happening. Uh, thinking, AI is thinking. Waiting. It's not my turn, right? And your turn. No, no, the opponent's waiting. The freak, they're roping. R rope coach? They're roping? Okay. Uh, the enchant died. While I am in combat stance, your opponent may only play one card each turn. Oh, that's OP. Uh, what's this? I deal one damage for every six cards in my ash, in my ashes. Okay, well let's keep like drawing then. Uh, let's get rid of this. Need more cards in our discard pile. Uh, hiya, hiya, hiya. Take it, boy. What is it up to? Fifteen. Take it, boy. Can't attack yet. Take that and this. I missed one damage. What's this do? Prevent all damage. I like mine. Destroy all permanents. Omega lol. Okay, well. Taunted and warded. Yes. All right, take this. All right, it's not bad. <laughs> the head of Evo. All right, all right. Uh, I think I'm okay with this game. I just wanted to check it out. It's been an hour, and I, I'm not. It's it's not giving me the feeling of wanting to play it more. It's just it has a. It's not bad for a free to play game. It's not bad. It's just a mix of Hearthstone and Magic. Pretty much. You get dual colors, decks, no instances. You attack just like Hearthstone. There's actually like almost just copies of Hearthstone cards pretty much. Like like in what they do. You just change some of the words around. But I mean, what else are you going to do? You can't completely just make a totally new card game. So you're going to have to borrow elements from them. But it just, it just feels like I should just be playing those games instead of this one. But, you know, I like what they're doing. I hope they succeed. It's just, um, the presentation looks great, but the overall UI, is just a little weird and you, you like, you can't see what's happening that much. It's okay. It's not bad. I'm, I'm glad I tried it though. It's free. You don't lose anything from playing for free. I'm playing, taking a break from Link's Awakening. Got the happy chicken. What's the happy chicken? What? I want the happy chicken. What is that? Chicken. Pathfinder. What's that new Pathfinder thing? Pathfinder. Heard there was a new Pathfinder, like beta or something. Hold on. <laughs> This thing feels like it's all over the place. Like they need like, like months and months of balancing. It just seems like, oh, I didn't. I don't know. I don't think I like the idea of a third story act. And there's totally changes the game up like that. Just, I mean, you gotta play around it, but help, Bommy! Oh my God! Hey! So I heard someone was in here earlier saying they follow Bommy. I don't want to. I don't want to shit talk anything. I'm not, I'm tight lipped. Actually, if you go back five minutes ago, I already gave my, my opinion on the game so far. I like it, but obviously, you know, it's just, I don't know. There's just something about it where it's just, it, I, you know, we, we see all the influences from magic and Hearthstone, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not into card games at the moment, but I, I gave it a good hour. I, I liked it. It's not bad. I love 
I love the marketing though, where everything is 100% free to play. You're banking on the merit of the gameplay and how fun it is so people want to continue playing and getting cosmetics. That is a huge gamble and I hope it, I really hope it pays off. This game has crazy potential, crazy potential. You know. <laughs> but I don't know, it just feels like like if everything's free to play and, and like free to like make everything now. What is why would you want to keep playing the game? Like the whole draw of the game right now cuz it's free to play. The only reason to play is to just make a new decks, keep trying it out, keep, make new decks, trying it out, make new decks, trying it out. And there might be a ladder, but not everyone's going to be in the ladder. Because that's like, oh, it's too competitive. But then everyone has access to all the same cards. But then again, people are still just don't want to go competitive. So the other thing would be is to grind out coins and earn things. I don't know if the coins, if you can grind out coins and earn cosmetics or if all the cosmetics is just pay, which is fine. But if there's no like grind towards like, uh, you know, getting cards because everything is unlocked, there is a limited uh, base here. Like, I don't know. Like there's, there's pros and cons to everything. And I don't remember another game like this out, like a free to play card game where everything's free. Um, I have played other free play card games where essentially, um, where essentially it's, it's the grind. It's basically Hearthstone with, you know, unlocking card packs and stuff. I forgot what the, what the heck that one card game was. I really liked it. Ooh, I forgot the name of it. It had a bunch of like furries, like furry animals in it. Maybe future DLC will boost. I don't know. I did enjoy my time with what I played, but it just, I don't know. I, I just, um, I don't know if I want to play with, with the mechanic where, um, where the heroes at, it's like the hero. I guess I have a ton of heroes, right? I can pick Muse here. Can I see their hero ability here? Here it is. All of your mana is chromatic. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Scry one. Ooh. First magnet and your mana is chromatic of all. Wow. Wow, this character's sweet. I don't know. I just feel like there's so many. It's, it's overwhelming at the beginning. You have to spend a lot of hours learning everything. And it's just one of those games where you. It's free to play. It's up to you to spend your time in it. The whole draw is so many heroes, so many cards. Get in there, experiment, play with bots, play with friends, casual, and maybe go ranked. And that's pretty much it. It's not bad. 